Andreas George are here for MMA Plus at the Bellator 158 London press conference and I'm joined now happily by, look at the smirk on his face, look at that smirk, <laughs> by, <laughs> by Linton Vassell who you will be on that Bellator 158 card, your opponent obviously not announced yet but you know I just want to ask you, I can, as I said I can see, yeah. I can see the grin, how, you know, how delighted are you to be on this big show in July? Yeah I'm, I'm buzzing for this one. I said, I've always wanted to fight in, in London again. You know, it's been a good three years since I fought, fought in London and um, it's going to be at the O2 as well. Yeah. What, a, a, what a big place to fight at. You know, one of the biggest places we've got for the arenas. So yeah, I'm, 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 I'd say delighted to be fighting in the O2. I mean, what a career story from the Troxy to the O2 arena. Yeah. I mean, it just really shows the narrative about you know, if you're a fighter and you give it and you keep going and you know, so we know you're over at the Black yeah. Zillions as well where the story can lead to. For you, did you ever feel that this could be a possibility? Um, to, to be honest, when I actually first started fighting, I never thought I'd be here where I'm at now. Um, I, st I started fighting, had a couple of fights, and I not, wouldn't say I wasn't taking it seriously, but I wasn't taking it as seriously until I won my first title, um, my first main title, which was actually on um, OMAC. Yeah. And then once I'd won that, I thought, you know, I could make it, you know, I can make something of this. And even, even then, I thought OMAC was the biggest event I'd, I'd been to. And then when I went to you know, Bellator, I was like, wow, this is, this is where I can get. And um, I'm at the big event now. You know? So yeah, I never thought I'd be where I'm at now. And to be on this show, 158, you know, we've got Daily Koscheck 2, yeah. uh, Kimbo Thompson 2. There's going to be a lot of eyes, especially with it being the first show in London. But to be featured on the main card with, you know, Michael Vernon Page as well. Yeah, man. You know, I feel like last year when we were at the British Invasion press conference, threw a few eyes on it and yeah. you guys went over to America and dominated. But now to see that progression, everyone's talking about the Brits. Yeah. No one's the underdog anymore. No. How good does that feel? Oh, it's, oh, this is the next level now. And say so we've done the British Invasion and say so we, beat, we beat them, we beat the Americans. Now they're coming over here. That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. We're going to do exactly the same thing we did over there, you know. But uh, yeah, say so more eyes on us this time. And yeah, to be on the main card again, you know, it just shows the level I'm getting yeah. every time. I want to be main event. I've been main event once. I'll get there again. They're calling it the Yankee invasion. What, what do you think about that? Are the Yanks coming to invade? Yeah, they're coming to try and invade, <laughs> but they're not going to invade. We're going to do our thing, as we always do. Just off air there, we were kind of talking about how nicely the light heavyweight division really yeah. stacks in Bellator. King Mo, Rampage Jackson, Tito Ortiz, the names go on and on. You know, Phil Davis and of course your champion, yep. Liam McGeary, a fellow Brit. It, it's very tough at the top of the division because there's so many. Everyone effectively yeah, deserves right. a title shot. Right. Is it about waiting now and, and biding your time? You know, you've got this fight. Is, or do you feel like there's a rush? Or are you happy to kind of wait and when they yeah. say, Linton, this is your shot, you can take it? Well, the, the, way, the way I see it is, uh, there's no rush, yeah, and the way, the way I see it, I won my last fight, which was a rematch, um, and he was the former champion, so even if they said now you've got the title fight, I'd happily take it, but I think I've probably got another maybe one or two more fights before I actually get to fight for the title, uh, so I think Liam's going to have a fight Davis or Mo next, and that fight will probably happen maybe, I don't know, September or whenever, you know, so... Um, he won't be clear to fight again, probably, yeah. maybe till December or even January. So I could probably have a good two fights before then. So, yeah, I'd like to say two more fights and then, you know, get, get a title fight. So, yeah, I so say there's no, there's no rush. And I, I don't want to be waiting yeah. to fight for a title. I don't want to be out for five, six months waiting to fight yeah. for a title. You know, if, if I want to be the best, I've got to fight the best. Yeah. So there's no point just, I'll, I'll sit out here and, I, and, I, and I'll wait. No, nah, none of that. What are the chances that headlines the next Bellator London show? Because it is a big fight, all British title affair. We've had a lot of those in boxing, but not too many in MMA. Yeah, well, as, as I say, Scott, um, Scott Coker, listen to this, you know. Obviously, when it happens, do England versus England, you know. <laughs> king versus king, let's see who's the top king. And just lastly now, we've already said how good the light heavyweight division. There's a new guy that's just been signed as well, someone you know well. Max Nunes, you were actually scheduled to face yeah, him back in the day. That's right. Um, I mean, obviously, it doesn't really make sense for him to come straight in and fight you. But, yeah. you know, would you like that fight down the line if it was presented to you? Yeah, I'd say at, at some point that fight will have to happen. Mm -hmm. As we said before, it, it, it's a name um, spoken about in England yeah. a lot. So, obviously, yeah, it's his first fight going to be um, on, on this card. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I'd say even that could happen ne next year. That could be one of the fights leading up to a title fight, you know, obviously that he does well. So, yeah, it's definitely a fight that I see happening in the, in the future.
Valentin, I want to say a big thank you for your time. Awesome. I love seeing the grin on your face. I know, it, I know it's great to man. be in this spot. Um, so wishing you the best, 158, yeah. and we'll see you in July. Thank you very much. Good speaking to you. Cheers, thank you. Nice one.